A young inner city Jamaican who did what many considered impossible. When he brought all of 15 artists together against crime and violence in not just Jamaica, but across the Caribbean region. That inner city young man will be right here on our stage. And wait until you hear what a new female artist is saying on a track Don't mess with me, don't about how she intends to deal with a boy who test. A number of social media comedians are about to go mainstream media with their own series. Dino Crazy and World Dog are two of these comedians. And they will be right here on our stage to tell us all about it. Those stories and more are all coming up right here on stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be right back. On stage with Winford Williams. And we're back now with this week's Top 10 Trending Countdown, courtesy of YouTube. Tommy Lee with three points starts off our countdown at number 10. And at number 9, the embattled DJ once again with Where You Woulda Do. Popcorn is a survivor at number 8. While Chris Brown featuring Young Thug, Future, Mulatto, and Lil Durk go crazy at number 7. Coming in at number 6 this week, Governor and Ecstasy with Best Friend. Something good is going on. Starting off our top five, Polo G with Rap Star. And Intense is all that at number four. Javelani goes back to his roots with this one called Shaka Zulu at number three. This week's number two track is right. King King with a term we've heard before, dance all, baddest thing. And this week's number one, Was, Intense, Invasion, Iwata, and Sadiki with Yang Badness. Bounty Killer through his Bounty Foundation continued his benevolence on Thursday with the donation of 40 tablets to his hometown community school, Seaview Gardens Primary. Good afternoon. Welcome to everyone. As we are here today at the Seaview Garden Primary School, as you know, Seaview Garden is my past community and this community is at heart with me. So we are here today to make a presentation from the Bounty Foundation and it's 40 tablets for the kids. It's all on the behalf from a great friend of mine, Miss Alcian Roach. She said she wanted me to select a school and the first school came to mind was Seaview Garden Primary School. And here we are today with the vice principal. We are presenting you with 40 tablets for the students. And we hope this little deed can go a long way from the Bounty Foundation and Miss Alcy and Roach. We want to say the heartiest thank you. So on behalf of the Seaver Gardens Primary family, uh, we just want to give you this token of our appreciation. It's nothing much, <laughs> but it's just to say thank you on behalf of you, Mr. Price, and Mr. Paul Bankigiscom, his, his manager, 
we're saying thank you very much and we are very appreciative of this kind benevolence and all the recipients, all our students who is in receipt of one, I'm, I am speaking on behalf of them. They, it will be appreciated. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And I'm very appreciative of this little token because it doesn't matter the size of a token, it's just the gesture and the whole thought of it. And this is for my community, so it will stay at heart with me. So you're very welcome, and we hope we can go further on and contribute and donate as whatever, as little as it has. As small as, as it is. As small as it we, is. We appreciate it. The thought count. Yes, the thought count. So salute. Salute. All right, so there you have it, our e-news and trending countdown segment. Stay with us right here on stage, still to come. Dino Crazy and World Dog are two social media stars. Yeah, them can want a friend thing right now. Who are on their way to mainstream media in their own series. The new female artist who intends to take matters in her own hands if a boy test. The inner city youth who brought 15 artists together against violence brings two of the artists to our stage for a conversation about the topic. All coming up right here on our stage. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams. My guest in this segment is a new female artist who is expressing on a track how she intends to deal with any man who dares to bring violence to her. Her name is Kesha. Right now, right here on our stage. Kesha, welcome. Yes. Thank you. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. Your smile is very deceptive. <laughs> yeah, I know. When I looked at your video, <laughs> your video is a, a different girl. <laughs> you know, do me nothing. Uh, <laughs> well, 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 first of all, people how are people responding to this track? Well, majority of them, trust me, great feedback. Yes. I've had like three comments a bit negative, not really negative, they're just saying they're supporting no violence at all, whatever, whatever, but right. that's the minority, so I don't mind. Yeah, you expected that, didn't you? Yes, of that course. If God posts something, they have a problem same way. You can't please people. Yeah, but violence against violence no. will not solve the issues. I know, but we're talking self-defense here. Self-defense, I'm not pr promoting violence, it's self-defense. Yes, so yes. let's state the trap before we go any further so that mm -hmm. the viewers can understand what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. No joke, no joke, no joke. Like 
right, the track is Psychopath. And she's psycho. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so who are you here? Are you, are you any of that? No. No? Not unless you deserve for me to be so. OK. Yes. Yeah, so, ask for me to be so, then I'm going to be psychopath. Yes. Yes. So you're spitting your soul in this. This is you. This is you talking, this right? This is me talking. In this record. Yes. And how do you push back to, to the ones who are saying that violence begets violence? All right. Be honest now. You know, say, if you're going to a church now and attack a pastor, you know I'm not going to lick you with the Bible, don't hmm. you? know that, right? Yeah. It's a reflex thing. It's a reflex thing. So you're not going to sit down and allow somebody to beat you up. I'm not supporting violence, but at the same time, I'm just saying it's self-defense. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so only in the context of self-defense. Self-defense, yes. I, yes. I don't like violence. I'm not promoting violence. This is self-defense. Mm -hmm. Yes. So is it because of where it is now, how bad it is, why you wanted to pen this track, to, to voice this track? No, not, not necessarily. Um, Contractor had an album in December, mm -hmm. Guys of Christmas, had Popcorn and a few of them. And I had some tracks, but I didn't, it kind of didn't suit it. So Sassy and Bill the Beat, and this is what, what I felt. Yes. Yes. So this is how this song came about, but we just decided to do the video for it. Being as, yes, now is the time. Now is the time. Yes. Because it can be worse, Trust can me, it? trust me, trust me. Do other women feel this way? Of course. Everybody has said it, and Tim. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everybody love it. There is this debate about pepper spray. Women should arm themselves, and pepper spray is one of the, the ammunition that they're looking at. What, what's your take on that? My take is, yes, it, is, it can be good, but, well, I would say maybe 80% good, but you have some, you know, you know, you have some little incidents with women to women, mm -hmm. I spray them on it, and that, that, trust me, even if they legalize it, it'll get banned soon. Yeah, because criminals could use it too. Exactly. It is good minute. and it is bad. Yes. Good for us women, because right now, me am afraid to be a woman. Mm -hmm. I first never see this. I'm afraid, like, me glad me not really go out anyway, but this is a time where, trust me, You're any afraid woman not to be a afraid woman? No, crazy. Wow. Yes, this is a, a, is a time where every woman is supposed to worry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you never know, nobody never know when. Jesus crazy, crazy. All right, so take us back to your walk to this point in music. Mm -hmm. And starting with where you're from, where you were born and so. I'm from Manig. Oh, yes? It's country girl. <laughs> country girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I've been doing music since, well, since primary school. I used to sing a brownie concert and, yeah. And then um, in high school, we used to had this friend. Um, she used to knock the bench and make beats and, mm -hmm. Yeah, TJ always asked to stop it nice at the class. And then first, my first recording was done at Master Link's record. Yes, the first track right there. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's how long ago? From high school, <laughs> grade nine. Grade nine, what, yes. what high school did you go to? Ochoa's High. Ochoa's High, mm -hmm. you graduated? No, I wasn't here, but oh. yes, did my subjects and all that. Okay, you say you finished. You weren't finished school. <laughs> you weren't expelled. <laughs> no. No, that's all I just said, bro. No, I didn't get expelled. We complete school and everything. I just was not here. Here in Jamaica? Time. Yes, graduation. I was with my mother in Bahamas. Okay, so, so music is your mainstay? Well, yes. But is that what you were thinking about seriously now while in, right. in high school? Well, in. Yes. When I was in primary school, I wanted to be a teacher, but then I realized that I can't, I can't go manage this because them unruly people and something, I'm not going to manage it. But mm -hmm. yes, it's high school. I knew I wanted to be an artist. So the passion for music was uncontrollable? Too, too uncontrollable for you to have pushed back against it and become the teacher or do both? No, man. 
I, I changed, my focus changed from being a teacher a long time ago before even grade nine when I realized that I wanted to be an artist. So mm -hmm. that had nothing to do with it. So how would you sum up where you are now? I'm grateful for where I'm at now. It's Father God, God bless me and make me grow more. Yes. Hey, you're confident. Yes. <laughs> so this is your time? Of course. And this psychopath will take you there, you think? Well, hopefully. Uh, I'm not God, so I wouldn't know. Well, you know, I hope so too. Just trust hope, in the process. I hope for you that you will get there. Yes, thanks. Uh, we, we need more women, strong women like you <laughs> <laughs> in other business. Well, you know, Kashan, I will just leave the rest until next we meet. Yes. I hope we'll be meeting again soon. Of course, God's willing. Absolutely. <laughs> well, keep your music going, my dear. Yes, thanks for having me. All right, All right. here you have her right here in this segment, Kashan. Psychopath. Still to come, the inner city youth who brought 15 artists together against violence. Dino Crazy and World Dog, two social media stars who are on their way to mainstream media in a new series. That too is coming up right here on our stage. On stage with Winford William. A number of social media comedians are about to go mainstream media with their own series. Yeah, them can want a friend thing right now. Dino Crazy and World Dog are two of these comedians, and they right now are right here on our stage first. <laughs> Okay, gentlemen, welcome. Oh, go on. Everything good? <laughs> dog, you look really like a dog. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you feel like, dog, you look, you look angry. <laughs> what up, sir? Welcome home. Yeah, I'm a G. I go out with them, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. It's good to see you at home. Respect my G. As promised, when you come home, you'd come to our stage and you're fulfilling, sir. So, yes, man. again, welcome. And Dino, you know, welcome back. Well oh, gone, man. I tell you something I go forward back, man. So you're an artist yet? Yeah, the last thing you say? You drop a video right now. You have a video? A oh, YouTube? right now, on YouTube, yeah. Bring the, truck. Don't want to hear about it yet? No, man. No worries. That's tell promotion. Me. Promotion, man. You soon hear about it. OK. And no more. OK, so who is leading in this project? It's actually a competition, right? Yeah, it's a competition. All right, so tell us about the details of it, the, 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 the mechanics of it. All right, it's a, it's a competition where one person get to carry home a million dollars in cash and price. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm ready, mm -hmm. you know, and everybody is ready too. So you'll be staying together, all of you? Oh, yeah. For? See, from the first, from the start to the finish. For how long though, how long? Um, two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. So you'll be all together for two weeks, every day, every night? Every day, every night. Everybody have them separate rooms, you know? Yes. Yeah, so. In, a, in, a, in a, some luxury Yeah, you get me. Resort? Yes, definitely. Okay. I live life. So, Big life. So, dog, how, you, how, you, how much are you looking forward to this life? Well, well, well it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. That's true. Me, me not, it seems like you enjoy it already. Yeah, I enjoy it because cool. me, me see a million dollars build my fence around my yard, you know? <laughs> Buy some steel and block, you know? Yeah, they can't go and dream about you and me having a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you, if you, if you, if you bought this show, though, I hope everybody keep up their ear game. Yeah. Come with their ear game. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm really even need to say this still. I don't want if one of them you even get the chance to win a million dollar doesn't change the fuck say they must start the same way. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get me I say? Everybody there so for win. Yes. You see me no 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 lose situation because in the idea you get a chance for the on a, a platform where they run World Dog and Dino mm -hmm. and Valdo and Swissly. You get me I say so I don't want nobody feel like they feel left out. Okay. You get me I say? So it's like a message you're sending yeah, right now. Definitely. Don't see me Dino crazy as the enemy. Yeah. Nor me dog. Yeah, can we yeah. As the enemy. show them. We, we show. are breaking through this this genre. Yes. Yeah. This comedic, this yeah. particular style of comedy. Yes. We are breaking it. Yeah. And you all can help us to do so. 
Everybody will be a winner, yes? Exactly. If that happened. Because, because if this show jump out yeah. worldwide, a million, what is a million dollar? All right, sir. All right, let's take the trailer right here, sir. All right. It's over six. I just a pull up for the mansion. Yeah, them for no one a friend thing right now. It's a man you want pies to the judge, them I expect them to win. Them flow a rap. Come, make sure say team. Come, come, come. come. Any time we win, they're not going to show them to some men up. Give me a pound of chicken, please. You can't give it everybody. Just come, plug your chicken in all. <laughs> We are make the money. Everybody are kill up themselves. Drinks are beat and joke are run. This is fun. This is exciting. All right, so that's it. Eight seven six roommate. That's a trailer. I know. Already it is generating excitement. You know what I mean? We can't wait to see it. Well, gentlemen, so it looks good. Yeah. Eh? It's not a joke thing. Mr. see a man nearly burn up my fire. Are <laughs> you dark? <laughs> it must be, you know. <laughs> him. Dark look like him rolling up a mountain. And he gas. As but I said, fire. it's a fun experience. Fun. <laughs> Certain yeah. things are first where I do. I never pick a yeah. chicken. I yeah. never take up a pig. Yeah. So at them look a thing that make it just oh, cool, cool. It, icing on the cake, it, you know? It, it, it potent, it, 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 it get to my bars, but I think so. Yeah. How did it come about? How did you all come together to, to be doing this? Whose man, initiative big is man, it? Big man, like Stash man. Yeah, man, Stash. Stash, stash give him credit, stash man. man. Stash, stash man. man. OK. Yeah. So he's the man who, who's funding the project then? If I do, uh, him do everything. Everything. Okay, and the, the, the creative direction and so on, I am. Yes. Okay. All right, so, so where is the project now? How ready is it? Ready. Fully for, ready. For, for, for Jamaica guys, really, she said, them youth are different. Different. <laughs> when you're going you to see something, uh, when, when, when you just watch on foreign TV, Jamaica guys really see now what, what Jamaican comedian can do. Okay, so there, there are how many episodes? You're going to be 10 episodes. So it, it will be finished editing and so on before it starts running on TV? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and when will that be? It's summer. Just look out for me come back in the summer. You're going to call me back in the show going out. Okay, so how many comedians are in it? Uh, 15 away. 15. 15? Yeah. They're all social media comedians? Yeah. Yes. We're not post Instagram, not at. Uh, yeah, so, all over there in one house. So who are some of the others? Call some names. You have, yeah. you have Swiss Lee, mm -hmm. Valdo. Moore. Valdo, you have Cuz, mm -hmm. you have Lando Sparks. Yeah. You have Trilla, yeah. Trilla Killer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Lexi. Lexi. You have uh, Kimi. Yeah, and my Women boy, too? Yeah, yeah, we have, have women. How many two. women? Two. Two. OK. Mr. Winfrey, this is a show here. Yeah. We're going to change Jamaica, you know. See, you're, talk, you're, going, you're going to change other artists, pre-men, and also like singer, DJ, artist, artist, pre-men. They're going to say, oh, them look, fifth, all them 15 jokers can come together and do such a brilliant idea and we they just a killer for one another. Mm. So, you see what this what we are doing? We're not going to be a prize and uh, what Yeah, we're going, to enjoy, we're going to enjoy yourself and show Jamaica, say, what we are do, you gonna whoop some artist's eye and say, watch a look of 15 media in one house. So all of these um, social media stars, they're all stars, right? Yeah, definitely, because yes. the show you're gonna make them all the stars. So what the, but your star, your star already with no big following. You, you, know, so. you yeah. know we you're gonna so know every, them. Everybody else, so they are known. Some. Some then I say unknown, them have them, them, them have them look of following. So you have the biggest platforms yeah. so far. Yeah. So you're carrying your fans with you. Definitely. And you're, you're, giving, you're sharing your fan base with them. Yes. And with the show too. And, and with the show. show. Yeah, because. It's like, it's like okay. Sean Paul and Shaggy up yourself. Definitely. Mm. Definitely. We the top man them. Yeah, top man them. The top man them. The top man them. We're not, not, not overdoing it. Take nobody credit. But now credit myself where I feel like myself needs to get credit. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? And I just saw me feel in my business. I just feel like 
Sean Paul or a Shaggy. We like go right here. Yes, sir. All right, gentlemen. So we look forward to that. Thanks for coming and sharing with us. Of course, definitely. And, and when you know boss in our music, you know come back. All right. Or when the series are on. Where? Music alone, dude. No, no, no. You, 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 so you're here music, the yeah. second time. He was here before. Four. Okay. So, hello. You can't say that, man. <laughs> All right. So, we can big up me somebody, my G. Go ahead, man. Big up my general. You hear that? G Dan. Management. Big up Stashment. Big up Street. Aspen. Aspen Luxury Suite. Luxury Suite. Yeah. That's put with my girl, Shannon. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> big up Mr. Williams. Street. <laughs> I'm going to the show again. I'm going to come back here again. <laughs> and I'm going to see me now until I'm well, free. You just give me a big up. Big up. Big up. You just give me a new word. Yeah. Gashan. Gashan. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Address it right. Yeah. 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 All right, sir. Definitely. All right, so that's them right here on our stage. The dog and the, the Dino crazy. The dog and the crazy on our stage. <laughs> we look forward to their, their series. And you should check it out, all right? I'm sure you can find info on their social media. Yeah, and you can follow the page, too. OK, YouTube. cool. All right, and stay with us right here on stage next. <laughs> A young inner city youth leading all of 15 artists in the fight against crime and violence in not just Jamaica, but the entire Caribbean space. We'll be back. Our guest in this segment is a young inner city Jamaican musician, producer, who did what many consider the impossible when he brought 15 artists together against violent crimes in not just Jamaica, but also the Caribbean region. A musician and producer in his own right, this 15 artists project is only the latest in an impressive list of musical first for Dean Barnett who brings to our stage three of the artists on the project. But first, we have to give him the stage one on one. Dean, sir, welcome. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm happy to be here. Congrats on this project, sir. Thank you. Why did you want to do this project? Well, this project come about with my second mm -hmm. chamber. Um, we were in the studio talking about doing something with the artists of Jamaica, mm -hmm. like a unity thing. But as we go along, we were saying, this is impossible. So we we'll push it aside, you know? And then a couple years later, Tommy Lee, you know, came in saying he wanted to do a song like, We Are The World. Okay. Okay, and then, you know, it kind of brings back memories to what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Chamba was saying to him, why not do a Jamaican version instead of doing back the actual song? Okay. You know, so um, that's how it started. And, you know, we started calling artists yeah, like Egyptian, Turbulence, and these guys. And everybody was, like, ready to go on it. Okay, so you had been thinking about a project like this. Long time for ago. Quite, for quite some time. Right. But thought it wouldn't work. Yeah. They are, it, why? Well, um, first, I've never seen anything like this in Jamaica. Like, you know, artists coming together to the voice song. And I know it would be a technical um, project. Um, worse, we are small producers. Yes. You know, even back in the days, trying to get artists to voice, it was very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. So how can a small producer like us do a project like this? Yes. So, you know, we, we take it out of our, our mind. So you were approached by Tommy Lee. Yeah. To do a, the, the We Are The World project. Right. But you say, no, you had a project that you had been Wanting to do. Right, so it brings back memories. Yes. So you introduced your project to, project um, to, to him. him. And he accepted? Yeah, he accepted it. Okay. Yeah. How difficult was it now to get the others, Bounty Killer and um, others? It's patience. We didn't get every artist we actually mm. um, wanted. But however, it worked out very, very great. You know why? Because the, most of the artists that we head for, I think the, the people would like, expect these artists to do a song like this. That is why we want to have you on the stage to talk about it, because right. it's very difficult to do these things. And as you say, some of these yeah. artists, yeah, people man. perceive yeah. them in a particular way and, and would think that they wouldn't want to do 
to support yeah. a move against violence. True. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. some of them even blame the artists for, for violence, right. for, for glamorizing and promoting violence. Right. All right, so, so the project is, is out now. You know something, for those who might not have seen it yet, let's just take the, the video. Okay. I see them swines. Mankind, mm. talking so unkind. Yeah. Michael, major dancehall and reggae brands coming together against violence for brighter days for all of us in the region, not just Jamaica, right across the Caribbean region. Again, sir, congratulations, great song. Only one female, though. How so? Boy, you know, as people say, the females are very difficult. And maybe the main reason for that, she's the artist we are producing. So, you know, that's how we get even oh, a female. She's your artist, one yeah. of the artists in your camp. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. people are requesting it. Since Brighter Days drop, people are requesting, oh God, we need to see the females. We want, we want a Brighter Days part two yes. with the females. Okay. I think it's a good idea. Oh, yes, it is. It it's is a absolutely good a good idea, my Bridget. Yeah. But before you go, Dean, mm -hmm. we want you to just quickly, because we're going to hear, we're going to hear audience from. Mm -hmm. The young lady, she's here. Yeah. Also, Egyptian is in the house. And a man we haven't seen for a long, long time. Turbulence. <laughs> okay, we're So, all right. You are no stranger to great projects. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're the creator, the, the, the founder of mm -hmm. Silverbird. Right. That's the one and only Jamaican international steel band. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> To remind us um, of some of the places that that, that, that took you. Well, um, I started steel drum in Trenchtown. Yes. You know, um, was self-taught. Started making my own steel drum. Yes. Had to hide the whole thing, telling people that I made them. You know, I have to hack like a, a bought pants. Cause you know Jamaica steel. Once once them know it's a Jamaican product, them don't want it. So I started up with some guys in the inner city, you know. Um, they weren't musicians nor dancers. Yes. So I tell them, you know, we have to come with something different. You know, um, we need to just, we need to perform it, not just play it, perform it. And we ended up going to California for the World Championship of Performing Arts with over 5,000 contestants of the world. We won, we won every category. Yes. Come back to Jamaica and start touring, go to Panama, to Canada, Carabana to China, all over the world. China? Yeah. That's unusual. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that Not, a challenge for it, you? It was. Yes. Because the first time we, um, we've been to China, you know, started playing reggae music and pop music. The crowd was just there, just standing up on, on us. Mm. So I had to go back to the hotel the night and tell the guys, here what? We need to practice some Chinese music. So we have to do some research in the morning, bam. Really? Yeah, man. So you were you you, you researched Chinese music yeah, man. Yeah. and rehearsed them. Yeah. And were, and were ready to ready for the next to perform day. the next, next day. day. Yeah. And you you get them to respond. Yeah, man. Get the crowd to respond. Lovely. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. So them call the accents. Yeah, man. We have we've been to China like every year since. Oh really? Yeah, till Japan call also, you know. That oh. settled world start calling. And on, the, and on the North Coast, we're performing all the major resorts. We have like four to five shows every night. That's where we, we yeah. met you guys for right. the first time, right? right? I right. thought you were so good. Right. But what about Trinidad? How did they feel about it? Um, it's, it's a two story. We we'll get some positive um, reaction from Trinidad as well. You know, like school calling me about learning about my product and everything. Meanwhile, you have some people giving me a bad Thing I saying, you know, inferior pants from Jamaica and whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm. So I've never taken the risk to go to Trinidad. Mm. But we have a lot of Trinidad who love us also. Right. So, so it's two sides, two sides to, to that right. story. Right. right. And because that's the home of, of steel music. Right. So, you know what I mean? So yeah. <laughs> that you get any love out of there is <laughs> absolutely good for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. We are loved by the community, like the people. Okay. But Pan man? Nah. The pan community, no, you know. No. <laughs> We're inferior. <laughs> uh, you, <Right>. well, <laughs> well, it's the same kind of thing with dance, dance song and reggae and mm -hmm. so on, which is, which to me is trivia. Right. And shouldn't even be a part of the whole discussion because mm -hmm. we love Trinidad right. and they embrace us too. Yeah. But for some reason, we have to have some little kind of yeah. tag of war and some right, little right, right, ridiculous right, right. conflict. <laughs> and, you know, for most part, we can ignore that. Yes, yes. All right. So, so, so my friend, I'm going to leave the rest of your big, impressive story mm -hmm. for another time when yes. it's just about you and your music and your growth yeah, and right, your expansion right. and your, you know what I mean? It's a long story. It's a long story mm -hmm. which you want to touch one day. But for now, we're going to, to thank you again. You're welcome. And we're going to welcome the female next. Right. The only female in your project. Right. And later, we're going to be talking to the, the two big men there. Right. So, All right. Thank you, Winfrey. So after the break, the female will be right here. We'll meet her. I don't even know her name yet. I call you, don't pick up your life. And uh, later, Jip Shot. The, the big man, the big international Jip Shot, and the turbulence of dancehall reggae. We'll be right here on our stage. Here she is now, the lone female in the Brighter Days project. Silverbird recording artist, Leah. Right now, right here on our stage. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? I'm fine, I'm, I'm good. 
<laughs> You're the only female in this yes. massive group of stars. Yes. Men stars. How do you feel about it? I feel good to be a part of a song like this. It's very impactful. It's well needed. It's something that... And as a female, that particular, that explosion, that surge in violence against women, mm -hmm. how do you react to all of that? I'm disgusted, honestly. Um, even my line, now I'm so scared about the future. How do I grow my daughter in the future to be a young, independent, resilient black woman and have less than men's men mm -hmm. with trying to feed their egos by victimizing us? I'm very disgusted by that. Mm -hmm. So this song to me, it's like a mantra. We need brighter days. We should be repeating this song everywhere, to be honest. We need brighter days. Do you feel scared of what's going on? Oh, I'm fearful all the time. Yes. I take public transportation sometimes, and I'm fearful. Yes? Yes. Um, but I'm also God-fearing, so mm -hmm. what will happen to them will happen to them. Is there anything you would like to say to leaders in Jamaica about that, about the whole issue and, and where we are now and how we're treating women? Is there a message that, as a young woman, that you would like to send to all of us? I think we need to change the hearts of men, and the only way we can do that is by coming together. This song, as example, uh, being a mantra, saying we need brighter days, praying as a country. Uh, so no message per se to the leaders, but mm -hmm. to everyone. We need to come together. Togetherness, coming together like this is, is a start, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it, it is. We really depend on one another Definitely. for safety, to, to feel that sense of safety in our community. But talk about your career now. How long have you been at it? Well, I've been doing music about two and a half years now, to be honest. Two and a half years. I'm 21, so... Yes. You're very young, yes? I'm yeah, very young. Mm -hmm. um, I started uh, just being a writer and then... Silverbirds family, they got to Chamba and Dean. We're seeing that I'm more than just a writer. Yes. And my debut single, Just Like Me, really made me believe that, hey, you're more than just a writer. So, mm. so right now I only have like about five songs out, including, well, excluding Brighter Days that I'm a part of, mm. with 14 other men. Mm. Um, and I have something coming. Brand and I read him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So is that the first you're being, you know, sort of like a little female in I know, 14 other men, all that testosterone. Yes. Yeah. All right, so can we take a little piece of one of them now? Just like me, okay. Sure. Just like me? It, that's I'm one. Gonna... Okay, let's go to it. So the title of that track is Just Like Me, the music of Leo, right here on our stage, Silverbird Records recording artist. And uh, she's sounding good and looking good. Go look her up, okay? You know where to go. And the uh, next, right here on stage, two of the already established big names on the project. We're talking about the Egyptian, 
and turbulence. On stage with Winford Williams. And we're back now with uh, two more voices on the Brighter Days project. International recording stars, Egyptian. Best love, the best choice. And Turbulence. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome. One of bless, them. bless, bless. And um, congratulations. Yes, sir. For lending your voice to this project. And also thanks. I want to thank you as a Jamaican for doing it. You know what Definitely. I mean? So starting with you, Turby, mm -hmm. what's your reaction to it? You like how it come out? Very much so, you know. Um, to tell where it's coming from, to mm. know, you know, because Silverbird is more like family to I and I. Yes. And so we always go to the ends and we always listen to rhythms and do music and so this project was brought to me by Chamba and Dean. Mm -hmm. And the warmth of it, the compassion, the thought of this music touching many arts. You know, you know I'm always, I've always been a product and an advocate of peace and togetherness. Yes. So when the man him called me and told me, say, yo, turbulence, more I see in the hook. Mm -hmm. With all pleasure, you know, because we're always fighting against crime and violence. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it was a no-brainer for you. So, GP, your, your take on it? Well, I mean, it's a good look, especially now as we can see the havoc, the whole island under. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the crimes the, the, against the woman, them. Although, man are dead a long time, you know. But when you kill off the woman, them, or the man, them kill off the woman, them, who are you going to with? A song like this will really bring forth peace back to an island like this. Because you know, so Jamaica is a party spot. You know. No matter what Mr. D had the right now, mm. he must know him reason them, but this is a song that really needed. You know, like from serious time till them time. Eh. Mm. So for we get the opportunity to be on a project as this, yes. with this magnitude again, with 15 artists, 14 man and one woman. May I tell you, the, the engineer have a big up for, 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 for the chamba. And they never the chamber alone, the whole team, the Silverbird production. Yes. For, for them, Marco Street, something like this, and forget Turbulence, Gypsum, Bounty Killer, you name Maestro Dan, you name the artist, is that it? Mm. It's like, it's a great job, man. Yes. And as they said before, I even didn't know it, I, would, I did listen earlier on. We are the world, you remember that song? Mm -hmm. So, pretty much, this is Jamaican one. Mm -hmm. You know, and for all of you copycats out there now, let silver bird rise to the occasion. Please, no obstruction. Yeah, man. Please, me have big no, no obstruction. And is this the Jamaica that we know and love? You know? You know, is this Jamaica you where know? man never used to kill woman when my mother grew up when you grow. So I don't know what I go on, really. Mm -hmm. So the fire of the eternal and we have to burn the fire the same way. We have to keep it. Yeah. We have to search for the brighter day by any means necessary. Yes. Yeah, man. Well, you know, let's take a little piece more of it right now. That's it. Just a reminder for those of you who may have missed it in the previous segment, that's the song. Now you know what to do. You can go look it up and support it, okay? All right, gentlemen, so, so congrats again on everything on it. Give thanks. Um, where have you been, Turvey? <laughs> you know, where have you been? You know, we, um, you say once an artist, always an artist, so we became the ambassador for music, so you yes. know, we have to travel. So okay. before this pandemic, we've been all over the world, you know, all courtesy. When this 
COVID thing started, I had like 35 festivals. In 35 March. festivals? Yeah, in March. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, we're doing it, we, we're keeping it royal, we, we're traveling, we putting in work. Now this COVID thing come in, so we doing projects, we were releasing albums, you know, we have a song called Defenders with me and Anthony B. Mm -hmm. We have Celebration of Life out there, all videos. We have yeah. um, a new video called Mountain Top. Mm -hmm. We have I Miss My Mama, so many works in the, in the progress. We have one that's matching up Jamaica right now, it's called Next Generation. So we're just doing it. Well, my friend, let me say this. You're not just a musical ambassador. You're also a Jamaican ambassador. True. That's okay? That's not an official title by like Jamaica, but every, every artist, some of them are, are better representation That's of this true. island mm -hmm. than those we put in parliament or those we appoint to high places no, you're right. or give high office. You're right, you're right. Yeah? You're right. I, I have been out there, we don't know, and see how it go. You're right. The, the, the kind of work on that. You're right. Saying, Jipo, give us your little, what's happening with you, you know? Well, you don't know. We've been trying it out. Really enjoy yourself to the fullest. Because to be honest, we record like every day. But at the same time, we never really enjoy Jamaica the really way we should enjoy Jamaica. Sad to say it's in COVID. Yes. In COVID time, we enjoy Jamaica because it's the longest we stayed here, you know? <laughs> so at the same time, with us, the music and the energy in a Jamaica is one. Yes. You know, no fingers pointing, no calling the names or blame nobody, but the whole thing, because I actually didn't even take a break from music, you know, to yeah. be honest. But we're still recording every day, same way, majority of the time. But at the same time, now we have um, a project soon to come out in August, yeah? And also now we have currently, you know, Best Life, something special about you. And also the new project is going to come out from um, Critical, mm -hmm. from, the, from the Consequence Music. And also, again, the maestro, the understand, and the, the, the Delaney, the body they are leader, where right now have a buzz, and pretty much musical oriented, see me, but we are enjoy we, mm -hmm. because we are work all these years and never really enjoy Jamaica. We don't even know all them nice resorts that they are Jamaica. Yeah, all these people are at Timmy's at Peace, but we are crews right now. <laughs> but you, you, you said something, I need to clarify it for me say, a little more. Say, say. You say the energy of the music is the energy of Jamaica right now. Yeah, because as you can see right now, the energy of the music can be positive. Yes. I don't care which one I want, talk about Egyptian, this and this, that. I am Egyptian. And this is what I do. This is what makes me the Egyptian that I am. And negativity goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. And with all this killing that is currently happening now in Jamaica. Yes. And as I say again, we don't care about who are going to say something to this or whatever. whatever. The music has a lot to do with Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Understand? The energy. You know, the music for turning to right now, too much blood in it. While there's too much blood already around all over the street, from left to right, you check it out. So if you keep on filtering that, there's no way you can have good. Yeah, better, better not sing about sex, love. And in any way, you don't want to sing it. But when I'm going to say, the boss out head, and, and this and that. Not even the killer them want to hear that. And you know we have killers worldwide. Jamaica, America, England, worldwide. Not even the killer them want to hear that. At this moment in time. And it even has spread away where the man them start killing women them even more often. Domestic affair where it could have been simple. Talk over and you buy your woman some rose and come. You kill your girl. Gentlemen. If you have a woman, you're there for 10 years, brother, and she can't work you no know, more. Leave her alone. Reminisce. Don't try to take her life. And you say you love her because you love her, and then you take your life. So two lives gone in the waste. Mm. One good, good woman gone, and the next man could have get. And one good, good man gone, and the next. Stupid. One next. You understand me? Stupid. It don't work, so. Mm. So when songs like Better Days, we are part of it. 
We no matter who I miss out. Brighter. We are going to be brighter days. When you see we are part of this movement right now, trust me, it, it's, an, it's, a, it, it's a case of necessity. You know what I've said, Terby, is this. I've said it to artists right here. The youths, them, the kids are looking. Even those who are firing shots, who don't even know where they are do. They are looking. And those to be born, and those young babies, they are coming and they are going to find out. Because everything we're doing now is being recorded. Of course. Everything. Okay? It's being documented. Yes. And they will see what you did, turbulence. They will hear what you say, Egyptian. In this time when this senseless killing going on around us, where people just feel like them for pie pie for the joke of it. But, but we, we all are a part of the problem. So yeah. there's no solution if you don't know that you are, we are a part of the problem. We are all a part of the problem in the music. We, with great strength comes great responsibility. So we have the powers. Not care what but I'm that's who want. people will, will, will look at what they did, you know. The, mm -hmm. the fact that you have a name brand out that, there. Yes, that's you, yeah, they're going to check your record, yes. your social media handles, to see what you've said, yes. the records you've put out, what you have said against Powerful. the violence, Powerful. what you didn't say, True. those who are silent mm -hmm. in this time mm -hmm. for senseless killing. Anybody person, anybody can anybody dead right now for know. nothing. No, not tell you. Okay, and, and people not speaking against the violence because I'm afraid of being criticized mm. and say I'm one of them. Well, youth, I will say to you, if you find yourself pie-pieing and wanting to kill people, you have a problem that you need to deal with. Fire. And it can be corrected, OK? It's not the end of the earth. And there's no glory to be gained in your future True. For, for embracing death over life. Mm -mm. Because if you kill and think about killing and want to kill, you are embracing death. If you embrace life, life will tell you about the value of life. Mm -hmm. And it will steer you in your life's journey. It will carry you with protection if you embrace life as a concept. Life over death. Every Young time. man. Every and, time. and women too. Sound like a philosopher, man. You're telling the true story, but you're so like, you know, you're passionate about it. I like oh, that. yes. I'm, I like that. It, it hurt me when there's so much more that these kids oh, we can need, do. Yeah, we need, we, need, we need that seriousness right now. In this right? Time, if these kids are so talented. They are so globally in demand. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you're wasting your great talent and your great young self on wanting and, and reminiscing and dreaming and, and, and dredging up all kind of murder thing. It is predicted that you will be that and you become what people make you to be. They think you are thugs and want to kill and want to murder and you become what is predicted for you. How dare any man to define you? I, only you can def, de, define you, my youth. So how can you be wanting to kill? Because it's the trend. You can't make the gun where I fire you. Is it even made here in Jamaica? Mm. You just know, make man where... Cha, fire, man. Fire. Some little man where they even like you, red drink. And them I make the money off a gun. <laughs> and them don't understand the value of Jamaica. Jamaicans, a lot of Jamaicans don't understand the value of Jamaica. Why well, you feel like so much private sectors from all over the world come and Jamaica come invest their money? Why well, you think say, the government in Jamaica is so broke right now? Because the whole island is run by private sectors. If you check a broke government right now, it's Jamaica. You understand? If you check the tax, everywhere in the world pay tax and you get back tax return. Not in Jamaica. Because they say the, it's not, the, the economy is not that enough to pay by the tax. But where are the money go? <laughs> You know, you know why, why not better security? Why don't pay the securities them more money? Why don't why don't be, pay the teachers them more money? Why don't pay the doctor people them more more money? Like because you're making it, you're taking it. So what's happening? Is that hold on there again? Is that the next man who come in power? I go take where he can get. While the next man in power, I go take everything where he can get. So what, what go on? I'm not a politician, you know, so don't tell me. If you back a dog up into a car and I'm going to bite you, because that's the money we owe to survive out. The people are hungry. Oh, how so much gone are reach in Jamaica? Mm -hmm. I'm going to catch a few of them. Because we're born in Jamaica, typical Jamaicans know the, 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 the code, you know. You're, you're letting some forget some. You know, you bust one and you're letting hundreds more there. Everybody got dead, you know, so everybody. 
When I die, it's going to be holiday save me because I'm the Egyptian. I put in that work so I will never be forgotten. So I'm not afraid to die, but I am not also afraid to speak out. This doesn't have to do with the poor. This doesn't have to do with the rich. This has to do with the world, Jamaica. Your, your, uh, your final word? Right at this. Um, right at this. Touching the heart of men. Jamaican per se, personally. I talk to the youth them right now. This is the song to go listen that we are talking about right now. The Lord God, Jerusalem, over the gate of Zion, one of all the dwelling places of Jacob. Unity and strength. Brighter days. One Brighter days. Brighter days. Brighter days. We all right. Here. What else could we ask for? <laughs> and that's our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of <laughs> all of us, Jippo and Turbulence, <laughs> right here on our stage and the entire crew. <laughs> Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.